All right, guys. So here is the Corrupica combo, and it works pretty well. Um, I'll go through it. I'll show it once, and then um, go through it step by step. Well guys, there it is, um, and I have to say it's a pretty nasty combo, especially since um, all you have to do is break their guard once, and they're stuck in the combo because, for one thing, Piccolo, or I guess my character here, Piccolo, you can use Piccolo too, um, you can't dodge out of Piccolo's thing, and what I mean by dodge is you can't use the mobility dodge, and you can't dodge out of uh, the dowsing chain. And so it constantly traps you once you get into that combo. So I mean, if you really wanted to, you could honestly do this, and you can start it off like this, and it just keeps going. Oh, I messed, I messed that up right here. So guys, let me show you the combo real fast. So you do have to be in Awakening for this to do uh, fully 100%. So let's just say you break their guard. What you're gonna do is hit them seven times, or five times at start. Hold heavy, heavy three times. Call in pick Piccolo and use your thing simultaneously. Do it again. Now this is the tricky part. That is the hardest part of this whole combo. I'll explain what it is. Once this animation finishes. Alright. So that is the trickiest part of the whole combo. Like I said, you you attack five times, then you hold hold Y, Y three times, call him Piccolo. You know, the basic the premise of this combo is you gotta get the timing, um, calling Piccolo and doing Dowsing Ching. Uh like, perfect timing. It's pretty simple, I mean, you you press both buttons, uh, assist first, I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, the tricky part of the combo, though, is when you go into this state. So after you um, use Dowsing Chang two times, what's going to happen is uh, they're going to be able to get out. And what they can do is either guard, dodge, or do whatever. However, if they dodge, they get hit with Dowsing Chain, and if they guard, they are going to get hit by that and their guard's gonna break so this is where the timing comes in you can't call piccolo in early if you do this otherwise look see guard doesn't break what you have to do is literally right when it hits you have to do the timing where you call in them and use that okay and i'm explaining this poorly but those of you that actually can like see and understand will get it so I messed up there. Sometimes it's hard to do. There you go. And so now she's doing it again. Um, so this is what I mean. She can either dodge or guard. She guards. And because of the cutscenes from Kurapika's Dowsing Chain, you can just constantly do this over and over again. If she guards. This situation is only if she guards. So let's do the full combo again real fast. And I'll try and show you guys. So five times, hold Y, or whatever, three times, call in, dowsing chain. Oh, sometimes it misses. Unfortunately, you can't control that most of the time due to like map pressure. So five, hold heavy, heavy three times. Big low dowsing chain. Be trapped in the laser. You can even charge a bit here. Make sure you don't charge too long. 
Up X. And I messed up again. Alright guys, so this is the combo without Awakening, and it it's kind of hard to do, but you can constantly do it. So I mean, there's your combo, uh, 100 to 0 without Awakening, and I mean, it's pretty, uh, like, they gotta be pretty stupid to guard every single time after that. It does take a few more times to do that. Um, however, the first time, this, like, no one plays Kuropika, right? I, I've seen maybe one person in, like, B, and I'm A2 right now, and there's no one that plays them in A, so. When, when people do that, when they see this move, they're... They have no idea it's a guard break. They just think it's, you know, some attack. And let me tell you guys, if you're on uh, PS4, it's up and square. If you're on Xbox, it's up and X. And that's how you do it. Sometimes they'll go in into this or into uh, into that. So you gotta be careful and do it in it, right? So let me show you the combo. Let's say they don't guard. They choose not to guard. They're just standing there. Let's go ahead and do it and awaken them. So here we go. You still do the same setup. So at this point, they're not gonna guard right after this. So after they recover here, they're not guarding. Do the same thing. This, one, two, three, and do this. It's not exactly 100%, but it still does some massive damage here. You know, that's a pretty good decent combo for them not being able to uh, guard after that. But So here's the thing though, when you do this, you have no idea if they're gonna guard or not guard, and you really have to just guess. Because if they guard, like, so if I do this, and I wait to call in Piccolo, it's gonna miss. Because normally, when you uh, when you do this, you're expecting them to guard, and then you just you you call in Piccolo after. Well, if you do that, you're gonna miss the whole time. So you miss completely. So it's kind of a 50-50. You have to guess if they're gonna guard or not, or they could dodge. And if oh okay, that was wrong. So if they, if they don't guard, you have to call in Piccolo earlier to get the beam to hit at least. You can hit him once, hold Y, do it three more times, and then ult. So guys, if you do want to play Kurapika, and I really enjoy playing and finding out combos of like lower tier players because I think every character is actually really good in this game. Uh, there obviously are some characters that are way better than others and you know we all know who those characters are but there are some underdogs there are some shadows in the light here and i feel like kurapika is one of them you know it's it's kind of insane that he can do 100 to zero i mean i'm just gonna do it one more time while they're guarding and it's pretty i mean just imagine you break their guard and then they're screwed there's absolutely nothing they can do if... From this part. I mean, if you wanted to, if you did not feel confident in guessing if they're gonna guard or not, you could just ult right there. And it would still do a lot of damage. Right there. If the guard breaks, it's over. That's all it is. And if they survive, somehow, their mobility uh, gauge is slowly 
or is debuffed, so that's one thing. So, you know what? I, I have tried this in ranked, and I had pulled it off. Um, I was not recording, unfortunately. I was just playing on my own. Um, so it works. It definitely works, and this catches people off guard. You just have to... You just have to guess, and if you don't get it right, there's nothing to fear. You just have to keep trying, and eventually they will guard, they will mess up, and yeah. So there you guys go. Hey guys, so I'm a little late to this, but I just found out, and I just looked at Twitter. So Bondi uh, released a tweet that basically uh, described all of the, you know, the schedule for the rest of 2019. And I'm I'm really happy about it. I'm really enjoying it. Um, as you can see, in April we have the clan uh, feature coming out. And this is a free update, uh, Vertex event, which whatever that is, and we got some new avatar costumes. Um, in May, we have only a few of the DLC characters coming out, and this is paid. You do have to pay for this one. Um, I have already, so we'll see if it is worth it. Um, obviously, Kaiba is uh, the release character in May. And there is a picture of him. Uh, they also tweeted out. I'm not really hyped about Kaiba, and some of you may hate, hate that for me. But I, like, I don't see the big hype in him. I was hyped when Yugi came out, but they're pretty much like they're gonna have the same kind of, you know, move set base. Of course, there's gonna be some co really cool animations with Kaiba. I'm not denying that. That's gonna be awesome. I do wish I would know what the other two playable characters are, but that is fine. Um, the free update is an online link mission. Don't know what that is. Raid boss event. That sounds pretty cool. Don't know how that's supposed to work. And the new stage right at the world tournament stage. I mean, that's cool too. Some new stages is a nice change. But I really only pick one stage, so that's not a huge thing for me. Um, in June, we got a free update, uh, arena event. Uh, just more events that we don't know what's supposed to happen. And new avatar costumes. Um, July, another free update. We got a tournament event, which is pretty nice. I've always wanted Jump Force to be competitive. I know they said it wasn't going to be competitive, but I really wish it was. And having a tournament uh, is pretty nice. However, that's a long ways away from just one tournament. I guess they're trying to get people more used to the game, but that's still a long time to get used to the game. Um, and of course, new Avatar costumes. In August, more of the DLC characters that were uh, leaked are going to be coming. Obviously, uh, there's none announced, so we don't know which ones are going to be which. Um, but the free update, new Avatar costumes, and a new stage, Valley of the End. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm a pretty big Naruto fan, so I'm, I'm, you know, that would be a cool one to go on. I do hope they eventually get to uh, better scene changes, you know, more interactive um, map space. Uh, but I really don't know anything about that, so... Um, I don't know, I'm pretty excited about this, guys. Uh, what do you think? Um, you know, there's not much to say. Um, I know some people are looking for the rematch button. Um, to be honest, guys, uh, stop whining about it. You know, I know it's like a basic thing a fighting game should have. They're working on it. All right? We just gotta trust them. They're doing good. By releasing this, we know that they're listening and... This is a pretty good schedule. I'm, I'm happy about this, and they're updating the game constantly, so they haven't abandoned us yet. You know, it's not going to be another uh, For Honor thing. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, see you guys later.